so complicated. Actually, this is a pretty simple design. I've built it several times as well. But there we go. That's our little side roof canopy piece. And I think it works fairly well. I'm happy. Looks nice and bulky from this side. And it does need to be a fairly bulky roof as this is going to be a bulky building. On the inside, we now have a roof. And I think the only thing that bothers me is over there. Which means, yeah, this side's also going to bother me. So let's try and fix that. Whoops. What just happened? No. Oh, that is... Am I in swimming mode now? What? This is so strange. I don't know what's going on. Huh. Interesting little glitch. Hi there. That's very interesting. Let's get rid of that. Not what I wanted to do. Um, that is what I wanted to do. Yeah, I think that works. That, that just tidies it up just enough that you won't notice this. Oops, I want it over here. This horrible little... No! Little defect. Dang it. There. There. Do we do it like that? I think that's how we did it, is it? Yeah, that looks right. Okay. So that... Basically solves the inside of our roof. I might do something here pull some of these beams because now that I'm looking at it I actually think that we we do want these beams coming across. Ah, let's thank the man for sleeping. Um, oops, it just makes the roof seem a little bit more interesting that there's something happening up there. Also hides this weirdness a little. I like that. Moving on. To I am terrible at placing blocks. I'm starting to notice a pattern. It's not just today, it's every time I record. I think I'm a little nervous. Anyway, so what we want to do with the main roof, right, is that this is still going to be the centerpiece. This is going to be the hip of our roof. So this is going to be a hipped roof. Don't ask me why it's called a hipped roof, but it's a hipped roof. And our hip, the peak of our roof, that that little line running across there, I don't have Optifine so I can't zoom in, I think should sit in line with this guy. And then come down this way and come down this way at exactly the same gradient as far as it can. So this wall would be higher, taller. In this one. There are more pillagers! Straw hat! Pillagers! We're gonna... Why are they spawning outside my base all of a sudden? They haven't been doing this at all lately. There's one up on the mountain. How did he get up there? Let's try and shoot better. Nobody judge my terrible aim. Oh, hello there. I see you. Hiding right in front of me. Did we get them? Whoa. Hi there. We got him. Okay. More action for you guys to witness. Back to the matter at hand. Where, where, where did Straw Hat go? Anyway, I wanted to thank him. Um, the roof. We need to do the roof. So, to do this, I think we're going to start on this side and build the roof up how we want it, up to the middle point, and then go down, mimic it, mirror it on this side. I think that's probably going to be the easiest. Now I have a bunch of stairs 
some slabs and some full blocks and I'm thinking this probably no, not thinking I know this won't be enough to get this whole roof in but I'm hoping it will be enough to at least get this front piece laid out so you guys can see what I'm talking about so what I'm thinking is let's go out one here like that now this roof needs to be quite a bit steeper than the other one that is a full block so if we do one slab there and we go stair 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 I think now we start putting in full blocks whoop that wasn't supposed to happen let me get back up there That is way too tall right there. Strat's just sitting across from me nodding his head. Like, yeah, that, that's not gonna work at all. Okay, that means we have to do something a little different here. I'm thinking what we will do differently here is that perhaps this side of the roof is the same as that. A little gradual slope coming up. We take these up a little bit further and then we make just give this one this type of roof just this middle part here in the middle and then maybe on either side we give the middle part windows that run through and that gives some natural light chicken chickens all over the place he came in through a window sneaky little devil anyway and then we we get some natural light in through the center but yeah that's definitely too tall so Give me a second, let me tear it down, let me get that section of the roof built here as well and see what that looks like. It looks a little silly now, I will admit, but give it some time. I think it'll look... Are we fighting pillagers again? We're fighting pillagers again! Wow, they really are abundant today. Didn't even get a single shot off. Yeah, we're getting good at this. I didn't see a bannerman. No bannerman? Huh. Guess not. Okay, well, let's carry on then. Um. Yeah. Looks a little silly right now, but bear with me. It'll look a lot less silly once we start putting on the finishing touches of this build. So let's get back up here and I'm using the wrong wood as scaffolding but whatever so what we have here is this line and this is the same internal line that we had down there I'm thinking that we're gonna end up putting 
our walls in here, fling them in over here. I think that's fine from the inside, having them flush with these logs. But from the outside, I don't think that's quite enough depth. So, we're just gonna skip it here. <coughs> Sorry about that, I had to sneeze. Um, so we're just gonna add these blocks on here in the outside to give it that appearance of depth. Now it's not going to be actual depth. What am I saying? Of course it is going to be actual depth. It creates depth. But these columns won't be going down all the way in this formation. But looking at the building from the outside, you're not going to know that. You're not going to see that necessarily. Now, we want to put windows in here. And of course I didn't bring stairs, so we're just going to not use stairs, I think. So let's build this up to about there. They aren't going to be big windows. We're just going to have these little ones in here. And this determines our final height. And this building, I think, will actually be the tallest one in the village at this point. Just to keep in, just to keep six horses. Like, a little ridiculous, but oh well. Just fill in this front one. And then we can hop down and have a look at that final height. I don't think that's too bad. It's not that much higher than what we have here. It is going to be a very tall building. It looks a little monumental, almost cathedral-like for a stable. But um, I think it's fine. We'll build other buildings around here and I'll plant a bunch of trees right up against this thing. Maybe some tall spruce trees right next to it and behind it. Just bring the scale down a little bit. Other tall things around it. So now, I need to bring this side up to that height as well. So let me do that real quick. We'll only take a jiffy for you. And then we can figure out the roof again together. Okay, so that's this built up. And now you can kind of start getting the idea of where all of our high up windows are going to be. For, the roo for this roof though, ooh, I need to eat. That'll do for now. For this roof, we're gonna need full blocks and stairs primarily, I believe. Because we're gonna kind of mimic that shape. And I think this, what is this? This is seven blocks wide. So our roof, it might be pretty much that same width. Because we've got five in between here and then this is our 6th and 7th blocks. So let's try and get up there. This is not going to be easy. Because that's very far up. And this, the last little bit of oak that I have left, is not going to be enough to get us there. So let's use some spruce then. Okay. So we do need some slabs, I believe. Yeah, these things are rimmed with slabs. So let's see if we want stairs there, slab here, stair, slab, slab, yeah. Okay, so then we go another stair up. Stair, I believe then it is a full block stair. And this should be the middle. Like so. Up one there. Let's do that. Oh, 
Oh, and we made the jump. Marvelous. Okay. So we need to go a slab, slab, slab. I will have to make more slabs after this clip. Luckily, we don't need any more for me to just get this basic roof shape done to show you guys what we're working with. There we go. Let's get back to our scaffolding. Work our way down all the way. And I can show you. Yeah. I think that, that works just fine. I like that. This video has a lot of cuts in it. But I'm going to cut here now. While I fill in this wonderful little roof. Be right back. And that, I think, is pretty much the exterior of our roof done. I can't actually remember how I got up onto this roof now. I'm pretty sure there's a column of wood somewhere around here that I used to get up, but I don't know where it is. Oh, it might actually be on the inside of the roof. Well, in that case, we're jumping down. Let's just show you guys what this looks like. I put this here just so that I can look. And I think this looks pretty good. It's still a little cathedral-y, but not really that much anymore. And Oh, I see you. That is a nasty, nasty fellow to be hiding in there for us. Everyone else see the creeper? Mm. I saw a creeper. Let's just grab out the bow, because we don't want him... Oh, there are a whole bunch of mobs in here. That's what I get for not lighting it up. How does a creeper die from that, but the skeleton survives? Just... Whoa! Hello! No! Creeper! Uh, we got creepered, everyone. No! Uh, okay. Lesson learned. Light up the building. Do not give creepers a chance to spawn. Because it ends badly. Ah, sigh. Oh well. We've got this in, at least. Now, see, here's the column I used to pull her up with initially. I think... It looks pretty good at the moment. Now we're almost done for this video. We're not going to finish this build in this video. I'll do another video in which we decorate the interior and move our horses in. But for now, I think let's just get the structure of this thing done without any real cosmetics done to it. This is a very large, very empty void of a space that we definitely need to fill with something. And I did think about it, and I have an idea. And I think what we're gonna do, is we're just gonna pillar up gradually through here, all the way. We're gonna start top, and I'm thinking that right here, Whoop, not there, you silly bully. That's not where I said you needed to go. Right here we do this. I also think, because this then becomes a spawn hazard, we put torches up here. And this helps to light up this top, but we're going to be so far down, we're never going to see that. We won't be able to see those torches at all from where we're going to be. And I think we have another one running through there. Let's see how that looks real quick. Pick up all of our drops. Yeah, I think that's okay. I think that works pretty well. Just It just fills the space a little bit more. Yeah, okay, we can see the torches. That It bothers me a little, but it's okay. It's, I'm sure we'll do something. Actually, I do have an idea. Um, let me check what the lantern recipe is real quick, because I'm not entirely sure how to make those. Right, so I've got the recipe. Actually, really simple. 
Is it all the way around? All the way around. Ah! So that is the lantern recipe. Don't judge me too much. I've never really played around with 1.14's new blocks. This server is pretty much my first real experimentation with this stuff. Let's see. I need a block to scaffold up with. Let's take this. Now we do want to miss this beam right above our head. I think let's hang a lantern right there. And then we keep going. And then we hang another lantern right here. But instead of that torch up on top, we do that. Let's see what that looks like. All the way down, vein miner, fall a little, break my ankles, it's okay. Yeah, I think that's much better. I want to move this lantern, put two lanterns on either side instead and see what that looks like, just real quick. If that works, I'll go ahead and fill everything in on my own. And just bring you guys back when it's all done. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, I like that. I think that works pretty well. So let me do that to these two sets as well, and then I'll be right back with you guys. And there we go. That is pretty much the exterior of this building done. Aside from details, we still need to do the windows and things like that. But I'm pretty much out of time for this video, so I think this is where I'm going to end it for now. I will do the interior and all the pretty details and everything in the next video. But I think I like where this is going. This is a massive open space, but it's not overwhelmingly so, I think. I think it works well enough. It doesn't look, doesn't have that grand cathedrally feel. I think it's too narrow for that. So I think so far, job well done. In the next video we'll do the details and if you look forward to that or if you just enjoyed this one altogether you guys know what to do. Hit that like button. If you're feeling extremely generous subscribe to the channel for more and then I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.